Hi, I'm Andrea, and this is the Weekly Rewind at the Bookish Bay, where I um, do a book haul and a blog recap. And I apologize for looking and sounding rough. I've had a, a week, I've been uh, <clears throat> sick all week. So um, I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can without coughing or sneezing. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I received a few books for review. Only two of them were... Um, physical books but these are from Tor and um, Eve of Darkness by Sylvia Day they were were originally released a few years ago um, written as, as or lit with the author listed as SJ Day but um, I, they're re-releasing them with new covers and I would imagine with Sylvia Day listed as an author since she um, has had a lot of success with her Crossfire series and um, also Eve of Destruction, which is book two. And this has already caught my husband's attention. He's always in the market for a new tattoo. He's like, hey, I like that. Because he has one like very similar to this, very similar to that. And he was like, hey, maybe I should get the other one. <laughs> so anyway, um, and I was supposed to be receiving a review copy. <coughs> Sorry. I picked three in the series. I don't remember the title of that one offhand, but um, I should be getting that one before long. So thanks to Tor Publishing for that. Um, the rest of the books um, that I received for review and um, bought are all ebooks, starting with um, the Reese Malcolm list, and that is by Amy Spalding, and it's um, by Tor. I mean, I'm sorry, by Entangled, and. Um, I've been wanting to read this one for a long time. I featured it um, from a waiting on Wednesday a few months ago, and I love the cover. I love everything that Entangled puts out. So when they asked me um, if I wanted to um, have a review copy, of course I jumped on that. Looking forward to that. Thanks to Entangled Publishing for the Reese Malcolm list. Um, next up is Dead Man Steel, and that is book two in the, in the Asylum Tales by Jocelyn Drake. Um, I read book one, Angels Inc., a few months ago, and I loved it. It's a really great adult urban fantasy. Um, it centers around this guy who, um, he, of course he has magic. He works in a tattoo parlor. Um, he owns a tattoo parlor, and they put, they're able to put magic into the ink to make things happen which is really it's a really really cool um premise and i'm really enjoying it and i'm excited to read dead man's uh, deal i love the cover for that uh game i think that's the the week i was saying he looks pretty hot in that cover and um i'm supposed to be uh, sending jocelyn some interview questions and I'm kind of intimidated about that and trying to think of some things to ask so if anybody is a Jocelyn Drake fan or wants to know anything uh, let me know help me out here because um, I need to send those in before long um, next up I have Wild Awake by Hillary T. Smith and that was my waiting on Wednesday this week I made that post um, had it all ready and then this weekend I saw that I had been approved for it on Edelweiss so that was pretty great um, I'm very excited to read that I love the cover and I think a lot of people are excited so thanks to Harper for that and the last book I received for review I just adore this color, cover it's called The Art of Wishing by Lindsay Ryber and um, it's by Dial Books. I'm very excited to read that. Um, I don't request a lot of young adult paranormal um, anymore, but um, that one looks really good. So excited to have that. Okay, so I bought a few books this week. Surprise, surprise. I bought The Opportunist, Love Me With Laws Number One by Taryn Fisher. And I've been seeing this one around for a while and I was like, I don't think I want to read that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, some pretty shady action going on um, by the main character. But Rachel at Reader's Den, um, she's pretty, she's um, 
I don't want I don't want to say picky because I don't mean that bad, but she's very selective in what she reads and likes. And she loved it. She said it was impossible to put down and even though the characters do some you know, act in some bad ways, you know, she loved it. So I was like, Well if Rachel likes it, then I'm gonna give it a try and it was only ninety nine cents, so um I am looking forward to reading that and thanks for the great review, Rachel. Um, the next book is The Perfect Game. It is book one of the Perfect Game series by Jay Sterling. I've been seeing this one around a lot and heard good things about her writing. Um, and it was on sale. I've, I've got it listed as 99 cents, but it may have been $1.99. I'm not sure. I think it was 99 cents. Um, so there's that. Double Crossed, um, which is a short story from Allie Cross. It's a spies and thieves story. I haven't read any of those so I don't actually know why I downloaded it other than it was free and at some point maybe I'll read them so <laughs> I don't I'm not for sure if it's still free um, the next one is Wounded by Jacinda Tyler uh, I've been seeing this one around a lot lately did not think that it was something that I would um, really love however Ashley at the bookish brunette wrote a really awesome review for it and convinced me to give it a try. It's only two ninety nine, I think, and it's been receiving some awesome reviews. Um, so there's that. And the last one is Roar and Live Under the Never Sky, number one point five by Veronica Rossi. I actually thought I already had this. Um, the other day I was gonna. I, I read and I reviewed this week um, through the other night and sort of forgot about roar and lip so I went back and, and I wish I'd read it before because I think there's um, some things you sort of miss out on in between the two books so I'm going to go back and read that pretty soon okay so there's my book haul um, thanks to Tor Publishing and Tangle Publishing, Harper Collins and Dial Books for all the review books um, search term fun okay the first one it, it, it puzzled me and it cracked me up facts I learned from reading the dead I have no idea. I, I, I have no clue um, about that and what Atlanta do here. Good luck with that. Um, a Beautiful Dark release date. Um, a Beautiful Dark 3 release date. And I looked this up on um, Goodreads and there's not even a, a third book listed, which I'm sure there's going to be a third book. Unless, you know, for some reason they drop it. But um, yeah, I'd like to know that too because I like that series. Cute Crush Quotes. Um, I have a lot of those. Take your pick. You can, I mean, you know, I love quotes and I love Sweeney crush, crush worthy quotes. So, um, have at it. Um, Between the Lines, Tamara Weber. Yes. Um, link to my review. Cannot recommend it highly enough. Um, if you, everybody seems to love Easy. I loved Easy. But this is my favorite of Tamara Weber's books, the, this series, um, especially book two. Um, so, yeah, if you liked Easy or, um, you know, whatever, I definitely recommend her Between the Lines series. And let's see the last one down to you sequel. That is Up to Me, and I've linked my review. It was really good. I liked it even better than the first one. Okay, blah, where you want had a lot going on this week. I reviewed The Charm Souls, which is book two in the Charm Trilogy by Christine Winrick, Catherine by April Lindner, Through the Ever Night by Veronica Rossi. Many I did uh, many reviews of Raw Blue, Avoiding Commitment, My Favorite Mistake, Vain, Salvation, and Forever My Girl. Um, I had some really good success with those, those books. Um, um, my Wicked Winner Saturday was the Unidentified Redhead and the Redhead Revealed. And I absolutely love those books. They're fantastic. So funny and so sweet and so sweet. Um, my Teaser Tuesday was Through the Overnight. Um, and <coughs> Wayne Wednesday was Wild Awake, which yeah, I already have. Um, I did a few cover reveals this week for The Space Between by Victoria H. Smith, Found um, by Alyssa Rose Ivy and Light in the Shadows, and that's by Amy Meredith Walters. Um, a couple of giveaways going on. There's the Indigo Spell giveaway still going on. Um, the Young Adult Giveaway Hop, I'm giving away a signed copy of The Name of the Star. And the Found Cover Reveal giveaway in which you can win your choice of ebooks from Alyssa Rose Ivy. 
Um, let's see. In other news, I saw this picture on Twitter the other day, and I cannot stop thinking about it. It cracks me up. I kind of want to... My seven-year-old loves the Harry Potter movies, and I kind of want to show it to him, but I'm afraid of giving him nightmares. But it's awesome. Um, so, I dare you to find anything funnier than that. And, um... Okay, so that's my book haul and recap. Oh, wow, I did it in under 10 minutes. So you guys have a great week. Um, leave me a comment, and I'll come check out your post. Bye.